what does it mean to be a servant leader in, in, in your day to day? You know, as a servant leader, you come into the work and what are you focused on? What are you kind of keeping at in the, in the top of your mind to make sure all your employees and your whole company is kind of not only staying afloat, encouraged, but supported to move in the right direction. What does that servant leadership concept mean to you? I think a big part of it is gratitude and humility. Yeah. You know, a lot of business owners think because I'm paying my employees paycheck or because I'm giving them health benefits that I'm the one who's doing them the favor, right? The transactional yeah. nature of the, the employee employee relationship. But the reality of it is it, it's, it's a two way street, right? You, you, you have to create an environment where your people want to work with you and for you for more than a paycheck, for more than the health benefits. You want them to have a broader purpose. And as a general rule, every person needs to have a broader purpose in life than just the work they do. Yeah. And so if you can, if you can really articulate that, and it's not about having billions of money, you know, in dollars in capital funding, we did it without any money. We didn't raise a penny at our company. Wow. So a lot of times people say like, oh, you can only do that if you've got a lot of money. You know, if you've got capital, then you can invest. That's not true because you're not investing the money, investing the time and the energy and the focus of understanding that every single person that comes to you has a whole set of gifts. They obviously yeah. have some competency or potential competency to do the job they're going to do. But every person that comes to us has got a life experience. You lived in Sonoma, you went to school in, in, in Santa Barbara, you studied certain things, you're interested in certain things, you've had life experiences. So every person that comes into the company is a teacher. The day they start with you, they can teach other people things, not necessarily immediately about the work, but about their life experience. They have a worldview. And so if you can unlock that and you create an environment where every single person that's coming in has is a contributor from day one. Yeah. They can contribute to your culture on day one by, by buying into the fact that you have this special culture. And they and in the minute that they start de developing skills within the company, they yeah. start wanting, if you create the environment, to teach the people that come behind them the best way to do things. So your teachers, you, you, you're turning all of your employees, all of your, your, your team members into teachers. And you're facilitating yeah. an environment where they all become coaches, but they also become students. And right. that's the whole concept of creating a learning environment. And if you can unlock that, um, it's easy to compete because most of the people we compete against, that's not what they're doing. Yeah. And then that translates to the relationship and the experience that your customers have with you. Because at yeah. the end of the day, it's not you as the owner or the boss who's paying your employee's paycheck. Right. The people that are paying your employee's paycheck are your customers. Yeah. And so you have to give them an environment where they're going to be best positioned to do what you promised your customers you're going to do for them, to make good on their promises. And so if you're not serving them well and giving them and, and treating them with the right respect, but also giving them the right tools, whether it be physical or emotional. Yeah. How are they then going to go and take that to your customer and execute with your customer where you behaving in one way, but expect them to behave in a different way for your customer. And I guarantee when you see companies that have poor service and poor responsiveness and poor engagement with their customers, you go look inside that company and you'll find that there's poor engagement, poor responsiveness, all of the things that are manifesting with themselves with their customer, that's happening inside that company, guaranteed. 